back, Digital Slang. Today, a very unique looking pair of earbuds from Hakate. Now, if you don't know who they are, they're a sub-brand of Edifier. And we all know Edifier, very well known in the audio world. So these are a pair of gaming earbuds from Hakate, the GM5s, very similar in terms of how they look to the AirPods 1, the AirPods 2. There is a gaming mode on here, a low latency mode. There's also a music mode as well as transparency mode. So we're gonna check them out, take a look. You can see the packaging here, very unique looking pair of earbuds. You can see the Edifier branding up top. We turn it over, you can see the stem style, very similar to the AirPods. These do have touch controls as well. No volume control on here, but they do have touch controls, low latency, long battery life, ENC, Bluetooth 5.2, you can use one at a time. And again, there is a gaming and a music mode on these earbuds, the Akate GM5s. And I like the packaging on here, it's a little different. Now the case itself, look at the case, it is a clear case, right? You do have their branding on the front, a clear case. And inside it does look like there is another case for the earbuds, but it's not. Now we do have some LED lights on each side of the case. And that will let you know that we do have some juice. So I do really like it. it is a gun metal finish. Very nice. IPX5 sweat and water resistant. So not waterproof, but they do have some water resistance. So if you do want to work out in them, you can. But you can see here, very similar looking to the AirPods first and second gem. You do have the branding on the bottom of the stem. Very nice finish on here. I do like how these look. I think it's a really nice looking color. Let me know what you guys think below of how these earbuds look. And I know a lot of people don't like the stem style earbuds, but you know, teach their own. If you don't like them, this video might not be for you, but I really like the case. Very unique. It's not something I've seen before. You can see the port USB type C to charge. And again, Bluetooth 5.2 price on these $79.99. They do support AAC, SBC and aptX for your codex. So very nice there. And again, an ambient mode, a music mode, a low latency mode. And if we take a look a little close, and I'll compare these a little later on in the video to the AirPods, but you can see how similar they are, right? You do have the black on the stem, which is kind of nice, but let's check it out and see what else we get inside of the box. So inside of the box, they, they do supply a few nice things. And I was shocked to see what else was in the box. Well, I, I don't want to say shocked, but inside of the box, we get a silicone case. We are also going to get, of course, the user's manual. We are going to get USB type C and we're also going to get a lanyard and the lanyard will, I mean, put these on your keychain, put them around your neck, put them on the lanyard, whatever you want. You can see there is some branding on the lanyard, the Hakate gaming lanyard that you can connect these to. So very nice. There's a clip you can slide, make it wider, make it smaller. Very nice. Now again, USB type C to charge and we also get the user's manual and a quick start guide. You know, the usual paperwork that nobody really cares about. Now no wireless charging on here, but again, USB type C to charge. Battery life on here, eight hours and 32 more. So 40 total with the case. And they also do provide this little silicone case with the branding on it in a black color, matte black with the port on the bottom. You can see how it fits inside of here. It's, you know, I don't know if I would ever use that, but it is nice when we get extra things for the money that we spend on a product. So very nice and unique looking pair. Again, we get the RGB lighting. Now these do support 12 millimeter drivers. But let's connect them. We'll throw them in. We'll start the usual testing. I'll tell you about how they work, how they sound. Let's go. Now, again, a lot of you might not like the stem style design. I don't mind them. You guys all know that already. I talk about it all the time. Anytime I review a pair of these earbuds. But if you take a look, I do like these. And I think they are better, in my opinion, than AirPods as far as how they look. Because the AirPods are white. They're going to stand out a little more. These are a little darker shade. A shade of gray, a gunmetal. And I like them. They're a little more low-key, even for a stem style pair of earbuds, just because of the color. And you do have that black finish right here on the stem of the earbud. So I do like it better than how the AirPods look. And comfort wise, they're very lightweight. You're not even going to notice them. Again, they're just sitting in your ears. So those of you that have problem with the silicone tips, you know, you're not going to have those issues with these earbuds. So you're going to be able to wear these for hours 
at a time. So very comfortable, very lightweight pair of earbuds. Let's jump in. We're going to do a mic test. Check out the mic. See how they sound. Of course, in a quiet room and in a noisy room. Let's go. All right, guys, the mic test for the Hakate GM5s, a pair of stem style earbuds. This is what it will sound like if you are in a quiet room. How's it sound? I'm expecting these to sound pretty good. You know, stem style gaming earbuds. Hopefully, they sound pretty good. Let me know. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, now we're in a crowded room, a noisy environment. This is what it would sound like if you were trying to talk on the phone. And this is kind of noise. People talking, people yapping, whatever it may be. This is what it will sound like. Next, let's talk about the touch controls. Now, the way touch controls work on these earbuds, again, no volume control, unfortunately. I would like to see that. You know, I, I want to see that on pretty much every pair of earbuds. But let's just talk about how these work. So, again, tap the touch. So, if we double tap on the right earbud, it will pause. And if we double tap again, of course, it will play. And that's how you answer and end a phone call. Now, if you triple tap on the right earbud, it's going to go and scroll between gaming mode and music mode and it'll go back and forth and it is a voice prompt now that's it for the touch controls on the right earbud now on the left earbud if we double tap it will be the same as on the right play and pause and if we triple tap that is how you will scroll and go to ambient sound and it will just turn ambient sound on and turn ambient sound off so gaming mode and music mode on the right earbud and ambient sound on the left earbud now to touch and hold on either bud will go to either the next track or back to the previous track. And on the left earbud, if you hit it four times, right, four touches on the left earbud, that will activate Google Assistant or Siri, whatever it is you are using. If you're on an iPhone, Siri, any Android device, Google Assistant. So touch controls, they're pretty good. I do like them. You can scroll through a bunch of different things. I would just like to see. You could have used, you know, one tap for volume control on either earbud so you know still not bad now one thing i do want to mention you can use one earbud at a time if you want to extend your battery life and just game with one earbud you can throw one in the case let it charge up use the other one for all of your gaming needs now as far as latency goes on these earbuds it's good you know these are gaming and meant for gaming so no issues when it comes to latency, surprisingly, on a pair of earbuds. I did play Call of Duty on here. I did play a few different games. I'm not a big gamer on my phone anyway. But as far as playing Call of Duty on here, these are probably one of the best that I've seen as far as any latency and any delay between audio and video. You know, Bluetooth 5.2, we do have that Qualcomm chip in here. And it does support all the codecs. So pretty good here for latency if you're a gamer. You know, these might be a good pickup for you. Now, if you're also a gamer, you're going to want that good sound quality. So let's talk about the sound quality and the volume on these earbuds. Volume wise, these are good. You're not going to need more volume than what these give you. They're loud, you know, not excessively loud like I usually like. And then I like to dial it back, but they're loud. So no issues with the volume right out of the box. Now, the sound quality, of course, we know what we get with this type of earbuds. We're not going to get that crazy bass. We're not going to get that bass that just lingers and, and hits. We're not going to get that quick, punchy, deep, sharp bass either. The bass on here is it's lacking, right? It's not the best. The highs and the mid stand out. Now, they do. They are very clear and they do sound, you know, for what they are. They're great. These types of earbuds are not my favorites when it comes to sound quality. The buds live with this type of earbud are still the best sounding open ended pair of earbuds that I've heard. And these, you know, are very similar, in my opinion, to the AirPods 2 and how they sound. So don't expect much when it comes to sound quality, except for the fact that it's loud and it's clear. Now, you can get a little more out of these because there is a difference in sound between the two gaming modes. Well, the gaming mode and the music mode. And it does sound better, actually, in gaming mode. Music mode, it's more of a balanced sound and it's, you know, it's pretty good. But when you put it onto the gaming mode, it does pop a little bit more. It does bring everything up a little bit more. The bass, just a hair, but the highs and the mids, definitely, you can tell a difference when you turn it and use it in gaming mode. So if you're going to get these, I do recommend these to just leave gaming mode on. You know, I don't really see the point in music mode, in my opinion, at least that's how I would use these earbuds. So 
Now the ambient mode on these earbuds is decent. It's again, open-ended earbuds. It's not the best, right? You're, you're barely gonna notice it, if any, because you don't really need it on these pair of earbuds. There's no seal in your ear. So to hear the outside, to hear those outside noises, you're gonna hear that anyway, because you're not gonna have a good seal on here. It's on here, you know, it is an option and it is a feature on these earbuds. I don't know, I, it's just okay in my opinion. It's nowhere near what the Buds Live give us as far as ambient mode, but even those, you know, these types of earbuds just don't do well with those types of things. It's not bad, it's there and it does a little bit, but it's not the best. There are much better ambient modes out there on a pair of earbuds. So let me know what you think of the GM5s, right? We talked about sound quality, volume wise, we're good. We talked about the latency. These are made for gaming. So there's gonna be some really good latency or lack of latency on these earbuds. Touch controls has everything except for volume. A little disappointing with no volume control on a pair of gaming earbuds. I'd like to see them go hand in hand. We do get a bunch of extra stuff in the packaging, in the box. Always a good thing. Price on these again, $79.99. Good specs on here, Bluetooth 5.2. Not waterproof. They are water resistant, always a good thing. And they do support all of the codecs. And I like, I don't mind stem style. You guys know that. Let me know what you think. If you prefer stem style, if you want the regular looking earbuds without the stem. And let me know what you think of the mic. I'm expecting these to have good mics and good call quality. These do have the noise cancellation technology for the microphones. Now, one more thing I did mention, you can use one at a time. It is a hot swap, so it's not gonna pause when you take one out and put it in and go to the other one if you pull it out. It's not gonna pause anything. So if you're gaming, you're just gonna be able to flow and continue with what you are doing without any delay, without any pauses in your game. So very cool. You know, they're pretty good earbuds. $79.99, these are meant for gaming. So just be aware of that. If you're looking for something, if you're looking for bangers or something, this is not the pair of earbuds for you. But if you're a gamer, you know, they might be an option. So check them out, guys. That's it for the video. I'll be back very soon. Have a good week. Stay safe. Peace.